Hello again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move WordPress from one directory to another, whether you are moving it from a subdirectory up to the main directory or copying it from the main directory to a subdirectory to work on some changes or moving it maybe from one, uh, one server to another. There's lots of different reasons to move that you may need to move a WordPress site. I'm going to show you how to do that using Backup Buddy. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go into our admin area. And we're going to go grab a recent backup. So we're going to go to our Backup Buddy tool here and go to our backups. If you have a recent backup, that's great, and it needs to be a recent complete backup, not just a database backup. So if you have a recent full backup, you haven't changed anything, that's great. Go ahead and grab that. If you haven't, run a complete backup and then finish the steps that I'm going to show you. So we're going to download our backup, and I'm just going to put it here in a downloads folder. And the other thing you'll need to grab if you go here to the restore and migrate area, we're going to need to download Import Buddy, which is the file that uh, that tells Backup Buddy what to do. So go ahead and grab that. You can leave it blank, or you can put in a password. That part's up to you. Okay, and then as you can see, I've already uploaded them here. So once you've downloaded your backup and downloaded the Import Buddy script, you're going to go over to your um, server where you have where you, that you're moving the site to and it, upload those. As you can see I've already uploaded here my backup file from Backup Buddy and my Import Buddy script. You'll want to make sure that you've already created any relevant subdomains uh, that you, you know obviously to, that you may need to have for this um, and make sure that you have a database created that you're going to use for this. If you're keeping it on the same server and just moving it from a subdomain to the main folder, you can use the same database. I always like to use a new one because sometimes maybe I was playing with plugins and there might be extra files in there, or I'm sorry, extra tables in there that don't need to be there. Um, and that way too I have a backup that I can go to if there's a problem. So I always make a new database, which I've already done. Uh, we're going to go ahead then and go to our new place. If I can type in the whole address. <coughs> and if you just go to the domain or the subdomain, you're going to get an error. But what we actually need to do is go to our your new place. Again, it could be the subdomain or the root domain or wherever it needs to be. And then you're going to add a slash importbuddy.php at the end of that. And that's where we're going to go to get to the script that's going to run everything. If you created a password, this is where you're going to need to enter it to be able to move forward. Okay, if you have more than one backup buddy backup on in this folder with import buddy, they'll all show up here because I just have one. There's only one option. It's really my only choice. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. It's going to do all of the unzipping, um, putting all the files in place and that kind of stuff. And this is just doing the files at this point. This isn't doing anything with the database that, that is also the, the other component of a WordPress site. So we'll just let that run. It usually doesn't take too long. This is, of course, depending on your server speed because these files are sitting on your server. Um, so this has nothing to do with your own personal internet connection speed. This is all the stuff that's sitting on the server right now. Okay, so now that all of our files have been unzipped, we get to go to the next step. Which is going to be um, verifying our URL. So this is all going to automatically pull the URL from where the import buddy script is. It's going to assume that that's where you're putting it. If you need to make any changes, you would make it here, but I don't recommend changing this. I would just set up where you need to be. Um, it'll also tell you where it was previously set up, so make sure, again, that you're using the right file. And then you're going to enter the database settings. So it has the original ones here. Um, obviously, like I said, you can keep those or you can use some new ones. Um, I have set up a new database for this because, like I said, I like to use new databases. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. And then the database prefix, whatever you would like it to be. 
Um, I don't recommend using WP underscore for security reasons. I recommend changing it to anything as long as it starts with a letter. Can't start with a number. As long as it starts with a letter, you're pretty much good. And then you have to do the test the database settings to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. You get all passes and then you can go on to the next step. So now this is going to do all the database import stuff. I am going to pause the video while this runs so that you don't have to watch a screen full of code. Or actually, I'm not because I don't have time. Um, okay, so next step here. And this is just saying, okay, everything should be good. So we're going to open this in a new tab and make sure that it is working the way we want it to, that it looks the same. It should look the same as our sandbox site that we had were playing with. So visually everything looks the same, looks good to me, they both look identical. So we're going to go back to our import buddy script and tell it to go ahead and do some file cleanup. What it's going to do here is get rid of that original archive. That was my son saying hello. It's going to get rid of that original uh, backup buddy zip file and any temporary files that it needed to create during the import buddy process. So we're going to let it go ahead and do that, get those unnecessary files off of your system and we are ready to go. So then your login for this, because it did just copy everything, so your login for the new site at the new location should be the same as whatever logins were created for the old site at the old location. Then let's see if I remember my own password, which I frequently do not. So there we go. We are back in the back end and everything is ready to go. And that's how you move a site using Backup Buddy. Cheers.